Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. Welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute, your weekly resource for insights and tips into the psychological side of equestrian sport. A lot of times when people first come to me, they ask a simple question, which is, is change possible? Can I really make this change? And what I've come to learn over time is that not only is change possible, but in many cases I can almost guarantee change if five essential conditions are met. These five essential conditions for change are things that I learned from a, my clinical hypnosis mentor, Ron Klein. The first one is that we need to have an unequivocal desire for change. The idea here is no yes buts. If we find ourselves saying something like, well, I really want to, but feel this reservation inside or have some worry about making that change, then it's far less likely that we're going to be able to make that change. So, the first one is unequivocal desire to change. The second one is that we need to state our change in the positive. And what I mean by that is we have to know what we want to do instead of the problem, situation, and or behavior. A lot of times when we run into issues or problems, we get really clear on what we don't want. It's much harder to get really clear on what we want. And that's the spirit behind stating something in the positive. The third one is that our change that we make needs to be contextual or behavioral. The idea that we need to drill down and look at the behavioral stream and figure out exactly what's going on where that helps us identify where to make effective shifts and changes. A lot of times we want things to be different in a very global, non-specific way. And when we are when we are global in our in our desire for change, when it's not specific in our desire for change, like wanting to be a great rider everywhere, then we run into problems and we need to get focused on breaking things down in that step-by-step -step fashion. The fourth one is that the things that we want to change have to be things that we can initiate and we can maintain. That the change we want to make is self-initiated and self-maintained. A lot of times, even though we may know intellectually that it's silly, we want our horses to change or we want other people around us to change. And when we focus on that, then we again decrease our probability of change. We have a much greater probability of making effective changes if we focus on things that we can initiate and things that we can sustain over time. The final one is future oriented. The change that we want to make has to be something that we're going to do differently or experience differently in the future. We can't change what happened yesterday or last week or last month. And while we can change the meaning of that for ourselves, it's really important that we're looking to make a change that we're thinking about what we're going to do today, tomorrow, next week, and next month. So the next time you get serious about making a change, challenge yourself to see if you have met those five conditions for change. Are you unequivocal in your desire? Do you know what you want to do? Have you stated it in the positive? Have you gotten really clear about the specific context in which you want those changes to occur? Is it contextual, behavioral? Is it self-initiated and maintained? Are your solutions the things you want to change, things that you can do for yourself and you can maintain? And then finally, is it future-oriented? If you've enjoyed this video and found value in it for yourselves, please like the video and share it with your friends. This has been Sports Psych in a Minute. I'm Dr. Paul Hafner, and I'll see you next week.